Hi, today we're on board a J160 named True Love. Built in 1997, hull number eight of the series. She's been cruised extensively, but has had equally extensive upgrading since 2014. I've enumerated all those in the text of the listing, and I hope you'll take time to look at that. We're gonna do a walkthrough video and a walk around the deck. And if you have any questions about this boat or other J boats, please give me a call or email me at the phone number or email address below this video. I hope you enjoy. So here we have a look at the interior of the J160 True Love. She's one of the few boats that was built with teak joiner work in lieu of cherry. They were all built with teak and holly soles, but this sole was replaced in 2014. And at that time, the entire interior of the vessel was revarnished. You have a great offshore galley. And one of the nice things about the J160s is sort of a thoughtful bit of detail in the refrigeration box. It's very deep, but there's this extra set of shelves in there to provide you that much more storage with a separate freezer box outboard. Deep double basin sink near center line to make it easy to use, wash dishes, etc. while underway offshore. A really comfortable and spacious salon, pilot berth to port. Drop leaf table with some storage in it and a straight set tee to starboard. The owner's done a uh, nice job with a custom wine cabinet here. My first reaction was, geez, they didn't get these uh, racks level, but they're actually cambered to follow the deck to make uh, storage of bottles more appropriate. Very nicely detailed. All the way forward is the owner's stateroom and head. To port, we have a Pullman berth with cargo door storage underneath. Well, to starboard is a vanity or desk, again, with some great storage. Large hanging locker furthest aft. And up in the four peak, just aft of a large sail locker, you have the owner's ensuite head with vanity, a stall shower area. Uh, one can easily install a curtain to pull across here. It's the very forward end of the head. And then the toilet area. These are freshwater flush heads on the boat and they were replaced and all the hoses updated in 2014 or 15. Of course, a full feature navigation station, yachts electrical distribution panels, generator controls, 2019 electronics, including this Alt I-70 multi-display and a Raymarine Axiom Pro uh, nine inch display down below water and fuel tank gauges. And then aft, we have companion staterooms, port and starboard side, with large double berths and storage with bureaus and hanging lockers. And then the head that is privately accessed from the starboard stateroom. And then there is access from the fore and aft companionway just opposite the galley effectively making this the day head for the yacht. On deck, the 53-foot J160 boasts a really spacious cockpit. These port and starboard seats are over 6'6 in length, so great to stretch out on or sleep under the stars if you wish. True Love has a custom carbon fiber wheel. And you see all these instruments. Uh, this was uh, part of an extensive 2019 electronics upgrades. Your B&G displays over the pod. B&G displays the break in the cockpit combing and to starboard uh, two I-70 displays along with the B&G display. An Axiom Pro chart plotter radar here at the helm. Note the control for the retractable bow thruster. The decks look great. These were stripped and refinished just two years ago four stainless rates along with all the hatches and ports. Add a lot of ventilation down below. Here's your detail on the bow. We've got a uh, setup to receive a midstay so you can set a staysail. And then we've got the large sail locker. One of the nice options she's originally equipped with is a hull carbon fiber mast instead of the standard aluminum. And a few years ago, she was retrofitted with an in-boom furling system. You can 
See, uh, we're just in spring commissioning here. Sail's not quite been on. Overall, the boat's just in fabulous condition. So here we are with the little flip down swim platform in its down position. This is built uh, solidly, but nice and light. You can see that with just a little tug of these Dyneema lines on the side, I'm starting to raise it. Couldn't be easier. And think about this, here I am with my gimbal in hand and camera, just popping down and onto the dinghy. So you can see it from uh, the dinghy side. You wouldn't do that if it was just the scoop transom. It'd be a little too awkward. Nice feature, and what is really great about it is there's room here to unload groceries, take off snorkeling equipment, etc. And of course you have your transom shower right there, along with a couple of steps to easily regain access to the cockpit. I hope you have enjoyed the video walkthrough of this exceptional J160 True Love. This 53 foot performance cruising sailboat is hard to match in today's market. I think you'll agree. And again, if you have any questions about this or other boats built by J Boats, give me a call or email me at the phone number or email address below this video.